Hello everybody, welcome back to Wrestling Rampage. I'm Joe and today guys I'm going to show you guys what I picked up off of eBay. Because uh, I have a package right here in the mail. Wham! Uh, pretty, pretty packed in there. Uh, let's see what we got. little sneak peek. They look like GameCube games from the way they look there. So let's give, uh, let's uh, see what we got here. Let's pull out the first game, which is... Ooh! We have... Okay, sweet! Only for Nintendo GameCube. So, so it's a exclusive GameCube game. Uh, we have Harvest Moon Magical Melody. Um, I'll be the first one to say that I am not the biggest Harvest Moon fan. But every time I find the Harvest Moon games, I, well, most of them I found, I found them for decently cheap. Uh, sometimes they go for quite a bit of money. Uh, this one, in case, does for some odd reason. I, don't, I have no idea why. Once again, I bought it because I got it for a really good deal. Uh, but uh, we got Start a Farm, Build a Village. Flower Bud Village wasn't a blossom of a burg when you bought a plot of land now newcomers depend on the bounty from your land for their li livelihoods it's up to you to create a farm raise a family and build a village in the most challenging harvest ever play as a girl or as a boy uh, buy farm land next to the river along the seashore or in a village Plant crops, raise livestock, dig for gems, or just fish. Beat your farming rival in a field in the fields, and at festivals, unlock hidden multiplayer mini games. Now, I will say this again: once again, I'm not the biggest Harvest Moon fan, but some of these games are pretty interesting. Basic reading ability is needed to fully enjoy this game. <laughs> that's that's funny. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, sweet! It comes with a manual. Awesome. Um, okay, sweet. It comes with the precautions booklet. And... And we have this... Uh, we have the little uh, registration card. That is awesome. And then we have the Harvest Moon Metal Metal... Uh, Magical Melody uh, DS material. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, the Brady Games Official Strategy Guide. Little uh, advertisement. That's cool. And then we have the manual itself. So that is awesome. Uh, I do like I do like the art style of uh, of Harvest Moon. So um, figured I'd give this one a shot. And then we have the game, which is right here. And let's check out condition. Oof. This one is a little rough. Um, yeah, that is pretty scratched up. I'm not even sure if that's going to play in my GameCube or not. But I'll give it a shot, and if it doesn't play, um, I can get it resurfaced. Um, but when it comes to this, I'm not too worried about this, because I will say this. Uh, I got this on a really good deal. Uh, if you guys go and looked up sold comps of Harvest Moon Magical Melody, uh, this game sells for around forty to forty-five dollars. I only paid twenty for it, uh, so I actually got a really good deal. I mean, even if I go and pay a dollar, you know, a couple of dollars to get it resurfaced, that's still a pretty good deal for this. So, yeah, I'm not too tore up about it. So, Harvest Moon Magical Melody. Uh, and then we got one more in here. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. We have, oh my goodness, we have, yes, we have only four Nintendo GameCube. We have Pikmin, the first one. Now, technically, when this came out, it was a GameCube exclusive. But since, uh, since the release of the Wii which was in 06 or 05, something like that, 06, I thought, yeah, 2006, the Wii came out, and they re-released 
Pikmin on the Wii. Uh, now that now the Pikmin on the Wii is a little. It's about twenty-five dollar game, twenty-five thirty dollar game. The one on the GameCube is worth the most. I am not joking, guys. Go look at the sold comps on this game. This game is going for a lot of money right now. Fifty or so, around fifty bucks for this game. That is if it's complete or not. We'll find out if mine is or not, because sometimes it's a gamble. But Pikmin. I own Pikmin uh, 2. I never got Pikmin 1. I own it on the Wii, which I found at a, at a flea market for 5 bucks, and that's why I bought it. This, I wanted it on the GameCube, though. So that's why I, I rebought it. And I got this for a hell of a deal. Um... We got uh, the Pikmin there on the side. And then we got on the back. Uh, my name is Captain Olimar, I believe is how you pronounce that. Uh, I've crash landed on a strange planet. My ship is in pieces. My only hope is t uh, for survival lies on the odd creatures I call Pikmin. So, if you guys never played this game or these kind or the Pikmin games in general, they're pretty fun. Uh, I have Pikmin 2, and my son loves playing it, and I enjoy uh, playing it with him, and uh, yeah, it's just fun. It's a one-player game, unfortunately, but uh, it's, a, it's a fun game. Now, let's see if it is complete or not. Oh, my goodness, we have a manual. That is awesome. No precautions, but I don't give a damn uh, as long as I got the manual. That is awesome. Yes. Pikmin. Oh, and there and there's the size of the Pikmin compared to a uh, compared to a, a GameCube disc. <laughs> That's pretty fun. That is fun. I, I I really enjoy a lot of the a lot of the Nintendo um, uh, a lot of the Nintendo games that they you know the first party games. And uh, let's go ahead and look at the condition of this. I was pretty bummed about the Harvest Moon condition, so we'll see how Pikmin is. But there's Pikmin. We turn it around, and we have... That is in fantastic condition. Look at that, guys. I see, like, a fingerprint right there, but overall, um, that is fantastic. Uh, I got this from the same person, as you can tell, but... Um, yeah, Pikmin on the GameCube. Now, with this, I got a hell of a deal. Hell of a deal for this one. Uh, Pikmin on the GameCube is selling roughly for around 50 ish dollars. Uh, maybe even 40 now, I'm not sure. But I only paid 17 for this one. Uh, and mine's a complete copy, so I actually got a hell of a deal on this. Uh, and I can't wait to play it. So. Uh, that's what I ended up picking up on eBay. Two, uh, whoops, two <laughs> Nintendo GameCube exclusive games, even though they did re release Pikmin on the Wii, but nonetheless, you'd rather have it for the GameCube, no doubt. Uh, together, I paid $37. Um, hell of a deal for these. Considering this is about a forty to forty-five dollar game, and this is about a forty to fifty dollar game, and I paid less than um, I paid around. Let's yeah, I paid less than forty for both. Pretty good deal. So. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. Make sure you guys uh, follow me and Tommy on Instagram. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys. We'll see you guys next time.